What's up guys? I'm here in beautiful Coron, Palawan. So nice out here. I've been out here in Palawan for about a week now. So I just arrived to Coron yesterday. So this is my second day here. I did an island tour yesterday, so today I'm just chilling, just uh, resting today, which means I can do another video. So continuing on from when Marie and I sang some killer karaoke. I can be your hero, baby. I can kiss away the pain. Oh yeah. Had to wake up early the next day because I was going canyoneering. You know, I've heard of canyoneering and I've seen the videos and the photos of what goes down, you know, jumping off cliffs, waterfalls, and just swimming through all these narrow rock formations and everything. So I, I had to do it. I really wanted to do it. My cousin came with all of her workmates from Manila and they were all doing a Cebu trip. It was like the perfect timing since I was there at the same time. They already had it all planned out already. They had like you know, all the groups, the bands ready, all the, uh, the tour guides and everything set up. So I just asked if I could tag along and sure enough, they welcomed me in. I just joined them the next day. Hi. Hi. Check out the back. Oh my gosh. That is insane. The drive was about, I think, two or three hours, same as the last time going down to the south. I'm not a morning person, I just can't really wake up too early. But now that I've been traveling, I've been kind of like on a natural time clock now. I've been waking up around eight or nine every day, so seven ain't too far off. They do the canyoneering in a place called Kawasan Falls, which is uh, a pretty famous waterfall here in Cebu. So right when we got there, we just had to sign a waiver, and then they just geared us up with all this stuff, like a life jacket and a helmet. And I, I guess you need all that so you don't get hurt, like jumping off rocks and hitting your head on something. So it's pretty crazy. They take you up by motorbike to the top of the where the canyoneering starts. But it was kind of an adventure already. I haven't ridden a motorbike yet in the Philippines and I just hopped on the back of one. The guy was going so fast going up this mountain. You could feel like the tire skidding while he's doing these turns and I was like, this is kind of a rush. I remember seeing the view going up and I was like, man, this is, this is sick. Like, this is why I'm here. This is why, this is like the adventure, you know? This is crazy. So from this hop, we have to hike down probably like 15 minutes down to the, to the canyon. And then right away, they're already dunking you in the water. That's just the start of it. Just kicks it off right there. You're already, everyone's already getting dunked in water. And we're already in this huge like canyon. And then just being there and then seeing it this, for the very first time, you're like, what the heck is this?
started off small jumps and then by the end it was like a big one so it was always like practicing for the next jump you know, it just kept getting higher and higher First big jump was a little scary, like I had, haven't had any much practice jumping off uh, big things, so I had to like kind of work my way up. After that first one, I was like, all right, that was pretty good. I could keep, keep getting higher and higher. Aside from all the jumping off things and sliding off things and swimming, uh, just to see how deep you are in that canyon was like such a nice view. There was like, you're around all this nature and the water is so blue and it feels so nice. And you just see all these, these two rock walls just going straight up. And we're in the middle of this, just swimming right through the middle. I think it was the second to biggest one. It was uh, a running one. So you, you could either jump off straight or run into it. So of course I'm gonna run into it. I just learned like when you jump off something high, you just kind of have to like be as straight as possible. But for some reason, I just can't really control myself in there. So I'm always kicking like this. And then like the last second before I hit the water, my feet just go like together. So. I've heard of stories with people jumping and their legs are open like that and it's just like not a pretty situation. People always get hurt that way. No, I just try to stay straight in my head and some hopefully a lot hopefully stay alive. Oh that's the thing now. <laughs> So the next biggest jump, they asked if you just wanted to do the 13 meter or like a 12 meter or something like that. And then the guy was like, there's a 15. I was like, oh hell yeah, let's, we're definitely doing the 15. I didn't come all the way to Philippines to not jump off the highest one. Sure enough, I went to the very top. And then the jump wasn't as scary as much as the takeoff was. There was like a little spot where you put your two feet, you kind of have to crawl down first a little bit. And then once you're ready, the guy just like, all right, I'm filming you, go ahead and jump. And I was like, all right, you ready? All right, let's go. One, two, three. And then, then again, my feet were kicking like that at the same time, so. Did the same exact thing, went to the water uh, with my feet together even though I was kicking like that, freaking out. Yeah, it was a good experience. Like I've never seen canyons and the jungle like that. The thing is there's just kind of like a lot of people there, a lot of tourists. There's always like traffic jams on the next jump and then kind of like as we're going through the canyon you have to wait a little bit for the next group. So other than that, it was such a nice experience. At the end, you're, you're at Kawasan Fall, but the water was super blue and they have this big waterfall. So at the end, you could swim in there, you could jump in the water, you could just relax. Other than that, the canyoneering was pretty fun. It was pretty sick. Um, it was the perfect timing situation for me, and I just thank my cousin and all her, and all of her friends that I got to go with them. Uh, hop in the van early in the morning, just meet them up at their hotel, 
yeah, definitely recommend it. If you're in Cebu, it's like a really fun experience. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And uh, stay tuned for the next video as we go to Bahol. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.